In this video, I'm breaking down the different types of chelated iron and how they affect Bermuda grass color. A lot of people say spray iron, but not all iron is the same. And depending on your soil, some types won't do much at all. So if you use different products like feature or main event and didn't see great results, this will explain why. So let's start with the basics. Iron is key for getting that rich, dark green color in Bermuda grass. It helps the plant produce chlorophyll, which deepens color without pushing extra growth like nitrogen does. That's why iron is great for use during hot months when you want color but don't want to mow more. If your lawn starts showing yellow between the veins of the leaves, especially in new growth, that's usually a sign of iron deficiency. It's a common issue in high pH or clay heavy soils where iron gets locked up and becomes unavailable to the plant. Not all iron products are created equal. When iron is applied to the soil, it often reacts with other minerals and becomes unavailable to plants, especially in higher pH soils. That's where chelated iron comes in. Chelated just means the iron is chemically wrapped in a protective molecule, which keeps it from getting tied up in the soil. This makes it easier for the grass to absorb. Different chelates work better in different conditions, and that's what we'll break down in the next few slides. EDTA is the most common and cheapest form of chelated iron. You'll find it in a lot of big box store products like Southern AG or High Yield, and sometimes in blends like Feature or Nutrisolve as well. It works fine in acidic soils, usually under a pH of 6.5. But outside of that, it gets tied up fast. That means if your soil is neutral or slightly alkaline, which is common in clay heavy areas, EDTA won't help much. You can spray it fullerly, but even then it's hit or miss. It's a budget option, but it's not reliable for most Bermuda grass lawns. Next up, DTPA is the sweet spot for most Bermuda grass lawns. It works well in soils with a pH of up to about 7.5, which covers a lot of lawns, including those with mild clay or slightly alkaline conditions. The big reason to use DTPA is for foliar sprays. It absorbs directly through the leaf and gives you a deep green up in just a couple days. It's more stable than EDTA and a lot more reliable. If you're spraying iron on your lawn and want fast results, DTPA is the go-to choice. EDDHA is the strongest chelated iron and is made for tough soil conditions. If your soil is high pH, around 7.8 or even above 8, this is the only type that will stay available to the grass. It's mostly used as a soil drench, not a foliar spray. The molecule is too large to absorb well through the leaf and it can stain concrete if you're not careful. But if your Bermuda grass just won't green up and your soil pH is really high, EDDHA might be the only thing that works. Feature and main event are popular micronutrient blends that include iron along with things like magnesium, magnesium, and zinc. The iron content and quality vary a lot. Some versions of Feature only contain 0.5% of chelated iron, while others go up to 10%. Main event has 2% chelated iron and another 8% that's water soluble, but unchelated, meaning most of that can still get tied up in the soil, especially if your pH is above 7. The other issue is balance. These blends give you a little bit of everything, but if you're mainly chasing color, they aren't ideal long term. Repeated use can actually overload other micronutrients your lawn doesn't really need. A standalone chelated product like FEDTPA gives you full control. You can push higher iron rates for deep green color without unintentionally skewing your micros. For most Bermuda grass lawns, a foliar iron spray is the most efficient way to deepen color. It works faster than soil applications because it bypasses the soil completely, which is especially useful in clay heavy soils or mild alkaline soils where iron gets tied up easily. DTPA is the best choice for this. It absorbs well through the leaf and stays stable in pH up to around 7.5. If you're chasing that dark green Bermuda grass look, the type of iron you use matters. For fast efficient foliar results, DTPA is the top pick. It works well in most lawns and avoids the tie-up issues that come with soil-based products. EDDHA is your backup when soil pH is high and nothing else is working. But it's better for soil drenches and can stain hard surfaces if you're not careful. Products like Feature and Main Event are convenient, especially if you haven't done a soil test and want a broad spectrum of micronutrients. They can still help improve color in many lawns, particularly if your pH isn't too high. But their iron content and chelate types vary and they include other elements you may not actually need long term. Once you know your soil and your targeting color specifically, switching to a standalone chelated iron like FDTPA gives you more control and consistency. Pick the right tool for the job and you'll get the deep green Bermuda grass look that you're after. And before we close this out, if you're on a budget or tired of buying full size quantities of lawn products, check out turfgrassform.com. I give out free products to active members and there are group buys where people split commercial grade products to save on both cost and quantity. Additionally, if you need help with your lawn, post photos and questions there and I'll take a look and try to help you out. If this video helped you, please share it with a friend. Thank you.